So this week, we're gonna take a look at the key principles of waterproofing when including a cavity drain system at the lowest level of basement. So firstly, we have a section through here through a basement liner wall and the basement slab with waterproof concrete incorporated. As you can see within the layers, there is the Hydroflow HP and a variety of different zones and types of application for this. For the purpose of this video, we're going to turn on the Hydroflow HP, demonstrating how it works with a rebate cast into the lowest basement slab level. So by turning on this layer, you'll see that there is a rebate cast to the perimeter for housing the hydro channel. A key principle in detailing is to ensure that the Hydroflow HP20 is installed at a higher level than the perimeter drainage channel. This is so that the drainage channel is ultimately the lowest point to collect the water, which is obviously the area of risk. So by incorporating a minimum of a 50 mil rebate, the hydro channel can be housed here and there can be a detail accommodated as is demonstrated. It's also key to note the access hatch, which this detail demonstrates, is shown indicatively at a 300 by 300 mil dimension. Ultimately, it's down to the architect's discretion to design this access hatch and design in the aesthetics around it too. From our perspective, it's just fundamental that it is physically possible for somebody to get in there to maintain the hydro channel system through the flushing point, which will be installed immediately adjacent to the access hatch. It's also important to note, when constructing a blockwork wall, as is shown in this detail, there will be wall ties which must be fastened back to the liner wall. The Hydroflow QS plugs, which are used for fixing the Hydroflow HP8 to the retaining wall, actually incorporate a pilot hole to receive a future threaded fixing in the form of a wall tie. By using this detail, it maintains the integrity of the waterproofing for the lifetime of the structure. Let's assume we don't have a rebate that can be installed to the perimeter. At the end of the day, it can be a challenge from a structural engineer's perspective to detail this. So by turning off this layer and turning on the Hydroflow HP layer, which incorporates an insulation above the basement slab, this still achieves the same result, whereby the Hydroflow HP20 is installed above the insulation and is still at a higher level than the perimeter drainage channel, which is installed on top of the basement slab. A key point to note is to make sure that the suitable spec of insulation is incorporated with a minimum compressive strength of 250 kPa. It's also important that the insulation is non-porous. One final piece to note on this detail is where an RC upstand or maybe an engineering brick is incorporated to the perimeter as the upstand detail, there should be suitable weak poles or open perp joints incorporated to allow the flow through of water from the Hydroflow HP20 to the hydro channel. Now we're just gonna take a quick look at the final scenario where stud work is used instead of perimeter masonry block work. In this instance, you can see that the screed is installed directly above the Hydroflow HP20 and the stud work then commences immediately up from the screed level. Again, access hatches, flushing points, etc., can be incorporated within the stud work, maybe more easily than you could within a masonry blockwork wall. We trust this has been informative, and we'll see you back again next week. Thank you.